174, the defending national champions, Zahid Valencia. Ryan Batisto for Bakersfield, 10 and 10 on the year. 3 0 in conference play, the history major, but one of the best wrestlers in the land, Zahid. 25 and 2. Also was the Pac-12 newcomer and freshman of the year a couple of years ago. Anthony, his championship move. I'm talking about the snap down, Coach. He is one of the best in the business at it. You see right there, hard snap all the way down to his knees. Forces his opponent out of position. He's able to drop down in on that leg, finish off the takedown there. So right there, he's locked up the cradle, keeps attacking, gets that angle, turns over for some near fall points there. So he's just dangerous in every position, but it starts off with a setup. And his best setup is that hard snap. So Anthony, I'm calling for the fall here. I'm predicting the fall. But what I want to know is, your, are you thinking near side cradle that like we just saw, or far side cradle? <laughs> we'll see. These, these Bakersfield guys have been scrapping today, so I think Batista here. So you're not here, you're not either. calling for the fall. You're not even gonna pick a winner. <laughs> okay, if if Zahid is able to pin this stud from Bakersfield, would you anticipate? Oh, nice. Would you anticipate near side or far side? You got to just, just to say, just if he pin. I, I would say near side. I think near side is more common for him. He's got them both. I mean, he does them both pretty equally, I think. I don't know. It's not, but he, he's quite the cradler. Daniel Lewis from Mizzou got Zahid earlier this year, the first time he had ever been pinned in college. The hands of the face roll right there, Zahid awarded that point. But... He's got two quick ones. I'm sorry, Darren. Say that again. So he's only been pinning. Oh, so he's only been pinned once. once. I was thinking about the Bakersfield guy. Once. Right. Lewis got him in the far side cradle. We were in attendance for that one, he and I. Yeah, that place, the, the place must have went silent, huh? It was church. It was church. <laughs> it was the Newman Center, the Catholic Church right yeah, here on campus. Oh, my. I bet it was a motivator for Zahid. He's definitely coming out fired. This is, this is the, to me, the key. He needs to keep this up all the way to nationals. That's how he's going to repeat as a national champion. He's looking to score. He's not hanging in ties. He's he shooting off within that. every five yeah, seconds, really. He's always on the attack, and that's what makes him so dangerous. I agree. It's a high volume. I agree with you, Anthony. I mean, he's a special wrestler. When he is just relentless, when he's focused and intense, and he's so quick and long. So he was, I believe he was a 106 pounder as a freshman in high school. So he learned to wrestle as a little guy. He just kept getting bigger and better and improving and grew like crazy. Junior, senior high school, he just, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Look at those long arms. So here's what's a pretty cool fact. So we had a great world championship. Oh, hey. He saved. One for escape, but he's saved. He's saving up for the near side. That was far side. Didn't want to get it too tight. That was the snap you talked about. Two more. He's getting greedy. A minute and a half into the match, he's throwing cradles around. That was a sweet misdirection. He clubbed the head on one side, got the single duck the other. You know, it all happened so fast. Here's a little claw tilt. Oh, he's going for half pin. Bakersfield's fighting hard. He's, he's no give -o. He's not going to roll over. He's fighting, man. I like it. He's keep, he doesn't want to get pinned. He's a senior. He's been doing it for a long time out of Harbor High School in Santa Cruz. Plus six right now for Zahid. Just good old junior high cross face cradle. He's got it locked. He's taking him over. Oh, he slipped it out. I like Batista's fight. He is not going to give in easy. The, now he's going bundle arms. They come out of the circle. Off the mat. The, cr the cradle fest that I predicted is occurring. I mean, I didn't think it would be this crazy. But he, he is, like, going for cradles from everywhere. I like that aggressiveness of Zahid. Man. He just got to be out there, just be free. You know, when Zahid just wrestles free flowing, just attacking, that's where he's at his best. That's where he's most dangerous. So if he can keep this up, he's going to be a hard guy to wrestle at the national tournament. He can re really repeat as a national champion. He's got the offense for it. He's got to go out there and execute it, let it fly. Plus seven now. He does have some amazing offense. So, 
Well, I was starting to comment before as the Heat went on this pinball machine scoring thing is that, <laughs> that our world championship team did really great this year. We had a, specifically around his weight, Zahid was in the World Team Trial Finals. He lost a very close match to Kyle Dake. Kyle Dake, there's his brother Anthony looking on. Uh, he's looking pretty content. Uh, but Zahid, is, Zahid almost beat Kyle Dake. Kyle Dake's a four-time NCAA champion from Cornell. Well, Kyle went to the World Championships at 184 and won the world without giving up a single point. I mean, that's like incredible stuff. You just don't see that in the history of our sport. I think Dan Gable was the last guy to go through an Olympic or World Championship without giving up a single point for the USA. And Kyle Dake did not give up a point. Well, Zahid's the only guy to take him down that month. I mean, Zahid took him down, almost beat him in the World Team Trial Finals. So, uh, Zahid's an amazing wrestler. Right time of over 2.30 now for Zahid. Zahid Valencia ASU. Looking towards the NCAA championships as we think about our top Pac-12 athletes, the three with the best chances to win an NCAA title are Zahid, along with Ronnie Bresser, who won earlier at 125, and then also Amar Desi, who we look for heavyweight. And this man could be the end. He's looking like he has a pretty tight. I don't think so. The shoulder, that left shoulder is way too far off. And I just don't think Batista's going to give up too easily. He has been stubborn, quite relentless. Four points, though. Still a lot of time, but Zahid, he, he should take your advice, Anthony, and go near side. We're near fall points just a moment ago. All right, so we got a little potentially dangerous call. But uh, in general, I think the near side cradle is a tighter finishing cradle than the cross face far side, especially in this case where this, this opponent's shown now four or five times the, the ability to keep from getting turned over or pinned from. Now, the roll through has a good idea. Uh, so he trying to put it down. Sucks him back. Trying to put it away. He's getting slippery. He's got to bring that, he's got to bring that right arm through. I can't see the far shoulder. That, that right shoulder is still up. He's got to bring his right arm through. It's almost over. So he collects it, trying to win a championship. That ends the period. You get four near fall points. Frustrated Batisto, elusive. He thought he had him. Let's watch. And upon further review, he did. They just gave him the pin. Oh, way to be persistent there by Valencia. So you can add two to the six. We'll step aside. We'll take another look at that when we come back. Decision made there. That it happened before the end, before the clock ran out. We'll see it again. Zahid Valencia victorious with the tech fall. He had gotten to the Magic 15 mark. He was very close to having a pin. And Zahid joins us. Hey, congratulations on another championship, young man. I'm going to tell you this right now. Batisto was kind of elusive for you in the end. Maybe a pin, for sure a tech fall. But, but what were you most proud of? Uh, just being able to compete out here with uh, my teammates. You know, it's a close, it's a close race right now. So yeah, you guys needed the points. Yeah, I know. I mean, two, two tough matches for me. I got the tech falls. I mean, I was hoping for pins. It's a controversial call, but I mean, I don't know what the refs saw, but he he made his call. You clearly saw the fall, Zahid. We gave you the referee's whistle in the future. Yeah. Hey, looking forward to NCAs. Talk about your mindset, your preparations. As you're looking to repeat as NCAA champion, and you know perhaps to you know rematch potentially against Lewis or Hall. Yeah, I mean the end the end goal is always to be NCAA champ. I mean I've taken two tough losses this year, but I just believe that's a blessing for me. You know after going undefeated. Last year, I need those kind of losses to improve, evolve my wrestling, and continue to stay hungry for 
for what I want. That's another national championship. Zed, you had a great season. You talked about those losses. What's the number one thing that you learned through this season going into the nationals? Like the, the best thing you learned to help you improve as a wrestler overall? I mean, I guess it's just not to stay complacent. I mean, when you're the number one wrestler, there's a target on your back between the number two guy to the un to the unranked guy. You man, they're out there to try to beat you. So for me, it's just continue learning from my coaches, evolving my wrestling. Don't do the same thing over and over again because people are gonna catch on. Hey, go get a national championship, okay? Yeah, thank you. All yeah. right, Zahid Valencia, Pac-12 champion with the Tech.